Many children are born each year with a serious genetic defect. And in fact, 25 million Americans will have some sort of genetic defect for a major disease that they'll encounter. There's been just a technological revolution. That is to say, we can now sequence people's DNA and understand their genetic basis of disease at a level that's never been possible. There's new equipment out there that lets us do this for the first time, and that's really just come about in the last decade. Before, this was an incredibly challenging task. It took 2,000 people about 10 years to be able to sequence the first human genome, and it cost somewhere between one half to one billion dollars. Now you can do it in less than two weeks for probably on the order of about $2,000. We all start out as a single cell and we grow into a complicated human being. And your DNA is the instruction manual for making that happen. Your genome is your entire collection of DNA. And your DNA is really made of four chemicals or four letters that are strung together in a very particular sequence. So if we took all the DNA in our body and actually strung it end to end, it would take us all the way to Pluto and back. When you get your DNA sequence, you actually try and decode what the exact order of those letters are. And with that DNA sequence, you can then try and understand how different traits arise. Your genes are really the things that, in fact, make those traits like your eye color and your height. It also controls things like depression and autism. So your DNA really controls many aspects of who you are. What's amazing about the twin study is that we'll be able to tell what factors are causing environmental influence on a person and their health, and which ones are really genetic. They're identical twins, meaning they largely have the exact same DNA. And so when one goes into space, he's undergoing a certain environmental stress, undergoing the forces of space, whereas the other one's living a normal life on the ground. These guys are essentially genetically identical, so any differences they have are due to environmental encounters. If we're gonna send someone on a three-year mission to Mars, we really have to understand in detail what's going to happen to them and how to best keep them healthy. This will be incredibly relevant to us on Earth because essentially as we see how people are living in space and the kinds of genetic factors, that can help protect people in space, some of those same things will be very valuable for people on Earth. By reading your DNA, we hope to see what kinds of diseases you're at risk for, what kinds of genetic information protect you to certain kinds of stresses is really valuable just in general.